Considering moving to Vero Beach's Barrier Island, here's one of my favorite neighborhoods, Central Beach, and I'm gonna tell you all about it in this video. In this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about why I think Central Beach is a really great place to be. And because I always like to keep it real with you, I'll let you in on a few of the drawbacks too. Be sure to subscribe for the best tips on where to live and what to do in Vero Beach. And if you want my Vero real estate guide and our up-to-date market report, just leave me a comment below and I'll be happy to send it your way. So if you have questions, give me a call. I'm a licensed real estate agent in Vero Beach and myself and my fantastic team, we would be honored to help you find your next home. Give us a call, 772-205-3353, anytime. My number is also in the description and you can also visit my website, letssellflorida.com to check out the latest listings in our area. So one of the things that I think you should know about Central Beach right off the bat is that it's got this really awesome beach vibe. It's like laid back, but also really beautiful um, and obviously close proximity to the ocean. It's a really, really nice neighborhood. So this Central Beach neighborhood that I'm referring to really is just this area here when you get onto the Barrier Island, just north and south of the Barber Bridge, that causeway. And it's not as traditional HOA, there's no HOA, there's no fence, there's no gates. It's just like a normal neighborhood of homes that make up at this um, Central Beach neighborhood. And it's quite large. It really spans all the way up to Indian River Shores on the north side and then really down into the Rio Mar area on the south side. And what you're gonna find in Central Beach is an eclectic mix of homes. There's gonna be some older, like older Florida homes with a lot of charm, some funky stuff, eclectic little homes. Some of them are gonna have one car garage, some of them are gonna have carports, um, and all the way up to like multi-million dollar, really beautiful, neat um, architecture, newer homes. So it's a very, again, eclectic mix here in Central Beach, which is one of the reasons why I like it so much. It's not cookie cutter at all. Some of the lots are like um, a more traditional 0.23 acres or quarter of an acre, all the way up to one acre lots in this area. You might on the off chance find some that are a little over an acre, but typically they cap out around half an acre, three quarters of an acre, an acre, um, large size lot. Uh, I just, I think it's a really cool neighborhood, even just to drive through and see what's going on. Proximity to the beach is another thing that you're gonna get out of Central Beach. So everywhere that you are on the island is walking distance to the beach. So even if you're on the very west side, you're gonna be able to walk to the beach. You're gonna have parts of Central Beach, like the neighborhood that are west of A1A, which means Highway A1A that runs north and south um, on the Barrier Island, that's the main road. And so if you're on the west side, you'll have to cross A1A, but there's a lot of great little crossing spots because they're used to people walking from their house to get to the beach. Or you could also be on the east side of A1A in which you don't have to cross any major roads. You're, those are really considered premium lots and you literally can just walk right down to the beach, footsteps to the beach. So um, that is obviously one of the reasons why I absolutely love this neighborhood is proximity to the beach. I'm a big beach lover. I love to go as often as I can. I love the convenience of being walking distance. You'll also see a lot of people riding their bicycles, like a leisurely bike ride to the beach. A lot of people have golf carts. They just hop in a golf cart with their kids and their stuff and um, head over to the beach. So that's really cool. And again, it kind of gives you that really beachy, fun, summertime vibe all year round. It's really nice. 
So if you are interested in a home in the Central Beach neighborhood, you can expect to pay, depending on the market, but where we sit right now, anywhere from 700,000 up into the two million. It of course depends on the house, it depends on the age, it depends on the lot size, and it depends on the amenities. Like, is there a pool, is there not a pool? Um, also, if you're west of that Highway A1A or east of Highway A1A. So homes east of Highway A1A, those lots do um, pull a higher price. So there's a few different factors that go into it, but uh, well worth the money that you're gonna spend, the investment in um, island property, we're not gonna get any more of it. And really, it's it's a lifestyle. It's a beach lifestyle. It's a lifestyle decision to, to live here on the barrier island. The types of homes that you're gonna find um, here in this Central Beach area are mostly going to be single family homes. There's a few multifamily like duplexes and triplexes mixed in, but very, very seldom. It's almost primarily single family homes. There are a few condo options too as well, sprinkled through that are really nice. Again, so, so close to the beach, so, so convenient, especially for people who are seasonal owners. If you only wanna be here a couple times a year, those are great options as well. Um, we've got a lot of seasonal owners um, here in the Central Beach area. Another great thing about uh, Central Beach is that there's this great elementary school. It's called Beachland Elementary. And I, what I see, because I live in this area currently, um, I actually, when I'm driving my kids to school, I see people riding their bikes with their kids to school or driving them in the golf carts on their way to school instead of putting them in the car and loading them up. They just take a bike ride to school, which is really cool because Beachland Elementary is located right here on the Barrier Island, right in Central Beach. Some other things that are located here in Central Beach is um, a really great dog park. We've got Vera Beach Dog Park. We've got this really cool brand new rowing facility. Um, there's uh, some neat like little baseball fields you can go and do some like recreational baseball there. We've got Riverside Park, which is a beautiful park right on the river. Um, Memorial Island is right off of Riverside Park. There's a playground there tennis courts, there's a great like one mile walking trail that's super popular because it's all nice and shaded. Um, there's a lot of really great things right here in this area, in this uh, general neighborhood. We've also got the Vera Beach Museum of Art that's right there off of Riverside Park. There's Riverside Theater where they hold comedy shows, um, like musicals and live theater and that's really cool and every week they actually have like an outdoor concert where they play live music and everybody takes their beach chairs and goes and sits and enjoys and it's a lot of fun it's a really great time all throughout the year riverside park uh, right in the central beach area also hosts all kinds of different events boat shows um they have like the or the orchid show um hibiscus show. I mean, there's all kinds of shows going on. They have like a pirate fest because there's a lot of beautiful space here. So all throughout the year, they're having all kinds of different events and shows. Also a lot of fun to participate in. All right. Also what you should know about this central beach area is that if you look on a map, our downtown, like our beach downtown strip with all kinds of shopping, like boutique shopping, great little restaurants and eateries, um, some beautiful boutique hotels and different kind of really neat um, businesses are along this strip on Ocean Drive. What's cool about Central Beach is all of the homes in this Central Beach neighborhood um, are nestled up against that Ocean Drive area. So again, you're walking distance, some really cool amenities and some really cool places to go dine out, go shopping, schmoozing, whatever. Um, it's right there, it's so convenient and it's kept so beautifully. It, manicured, um, beautiful, different like hibiscus bushes and all kinds of different um, 
tropical plants and everything all through the island, beautiful palm trees. And one of my very, very favorite things is our live oak trees, like beautiful live oak trees with the Spanish moss. And as you're driving through the neighborhoods here in Central Beach, one thing that you'll notice that sets it apart from everywhere else is gonna be those live oak trees. Like they make it almost magical feeling. It, they like almost like hug the streets and hug the houses. And it's such a cool old Florida vibe that you're not gonna find a whole lot of other places in this area. As promised, I'm gonna keep it real with you. Some of the cons about Central Beach are gonna be, um, I think that it's pricey. So it's gonna be pricier to live here on the Barrier Island and in this Central Beach area because it's really desirable. It's so close in proximity to all kinds of different things. It's very convenient and you're gonna pay a premium for that. The second thing that I would think is maybe a little bit of a deterrent is that really the whole Barrier Island is in a flood zone, but there are a few streets um, in Central Beach when it rains like a big, big heavy thunderstorm or if we have a hurricane activity or something like that, those streets will retain a lot of water. So they flood a little bit. Um, I've never seen it, knock on wood, where like houses are flooded, not ever since I've lived here, but the streets retain a lot of that water. Um, so that's one thing that could be a little bit off-putting um, if that's concerning to you. The other thing is kind of a flip side of one of the things that I love about Central Beach. I love that it's eclectic and I love that there's a, a mix of all different kinds of houses and people and different stuff like that and styles. Um, but for somebody who doesn't like that and wants everything like very manicured and um, very always aesthetically pleasing and all in everything's in the same order, like a traditional like homeowners association neighborhood where everything has like a similar appeal, you're not gonna find that in Central Beach. Central Beach is a, a great mix of all different kinds of homes. So if that's not your vibe, then Central Beach might not um, be that appealing to you. Okay, so the last thing I'll say um, as like a drawback to this area is that in season, which runs, our season runs from like May to, uh, I'm sorry, November to May, um, you're definitely gonna see an influx of people of those seasonal owners coming down here to enjoy the weather over those winter months where it's colder elsewhere. Um, they're here, so traffic is definitely gonna increase here on the Barrier Island, just throughout the whole Barrier Island. It's gonna be a lot busier. It's not like West Palm Beach traffic, it's not like Orlando traffic, but there is definitely an increase in the flow of traffic and wait times to travel anywhere, wait times to eat at restaurants, things like that, that you have to accommodate and adjust for um, time frame wise. So all in all, I 110% think that all of the pros way outweigh the cons. It's a fantastic neighborhood. It's one of my favorites on the island. It's one of my favorites in all of Vero Beach. Um, I, again, I just, I love the vibe. Um, I love the aesthetic. I like the people. Um, I like the shopping, the convenience, all of that great stuff that makes up this Central Beach neighborhood. And if you want more information about Central Beach, if you wanna pick my brain or one of my uh, partner's brains, we can tell you all about it. We can show you the homes that are available here. We are happy to do that. You just gotta let us know. All right, so in summary, if you decide to move to the beach, you'll be glad you did, I promise. I moved from the Appalachian Mountains about 10 years ago and I've been here ever since, about 10 years now. I really, I can't say enough about this awesome vibe here. I love this area. So thanks for tuning in and see you on my next video. This is Rachel Carroll with the Carroll Home Team here in the Space and Treasure Coast of Florida. If you like this content and you want more, click the videos to my left.